Hi, my name is Justin Galusha, and I am the chair of Design 21. Design 21 was a curriculum redesign led by the faculty to take a look at Weymouth's, Weymouth High School's curriculum and their program of studies. Uh, now that we have moved from the designing into the implementation stage, we are called WHS 21, and I would like to take uh, the next few minutes to share with you some of the changes that we have uh, through WHS 21 for your student. One of the things that we must look at in the 21st century is that we are living in exponential times. The number of text messages sent and received every day exceeds the total population of the planet. And while you may think that your student is uh, exponentially adding to that, uh, it isn't just them and their cell phone bill. Uh, we have 31 billion searches on, on Google every month. And back in 2006, that was only 2.7 billion. We are living in exponential times. The total amount of inf in information that will be created this year uh, is more than the past 5,000 years. So whatever we do as an educational institution, we must make sure that our students aren't just masters of content. They need to be masters with content. And that really brought the faculty at Weymouth High School to a, to a very crucial question. Is an educational system with its roots in the 19th century really preparing our students for life in the 21st century? And to be able to answer that question with, with, with confidence, we are going to have to make some changes for our students. And WHS 21 is really the plan to, to make sure that our students are, are as, as, as wonderfully serviced as they can be. So to kind of give an overview of WHS 21, let me, uh, let me meet, have you meet Joe 2012. Come on, a little closer here, Joe. Uh, Joe 2012 has really three things that we want to focus in on. The first, and this is going to be a change that will immediately affect all of the students at Weymouth High School next year. You see, Joe's got skills. Joe's got these seven skills, and the outside area of the skills here are skills that Joe would use in, in getting information and dealing with information. The skills in the center here are what Joe would use to express the information that he has either received or manipulated. You see, right now, Joe goes from one class to another and hears one thing about a skill and then another thing about a skill and then maybe something different. And by the end, Joe's a little confused. And then it repeats over and over and over and over and over again. One of the things that we're trying to do with WHS 21 is to make sure that, that Joe 2012 hears the same things about skills across the board, works with those, and, and, and becomes better at using those skills for all of that new information that he's going to encounter. You see, uh, the, the, the conference board and the Partnership for 21st Century Skills, these two very big organizations, did a uh, survey of over 400 different uh, workplaces. And what they found is that the graduates that are coming out of high school in America, too few of them can, can do oral presentations, have fluent written communication. Um, they're not creatively using technology. Um, they don't work collaboratively as well as they should. They, they lack a work ethic, and, and they need to understand the United States in the context of global affairs. We wanted to make sure that wherever our students go next after high school, that they would be ready with the skills they need for today. And that really was the genesis of focusing on these 21st century core skills to make sure that Joe 2012 is ready. So the first thing that WHS 21 means for your student is a focus on the core skills and using the content to become masters of these skills. The next thing that Joe 2012 will have is Joe's got service. You see, starting with the class of 2012 in their senior year, uh, students will be asked to complete 10 hours of community service per year. Now, we don't want that to be um, a burden at all. In fact, we want that to be a, a social event, like you see pictured here, where clubs and organizations and sports teams plan their service opportunities together, and they go out and do those in a social event for the students. So that the students leaving Weymouth High School are kind of have caught the service bug because it has been a fun time for them in their high school career. The third thing that Joe has is Joe's got context. You see, as you start off in your educational career, you take large survey courses, and then you maybe take another survey course that narrows the field. And then at Weymouth High School, we have some great electives. But as you can see, 
going down, the electives narrow the content of, of the course. And this happens with not just history, but with English, with math, with science, and with history. So as a student goes through their educational experience at Weymouth High School, they, they kind of narrow in their, in their content coverage. By the end, at, the, at their 11th and 12th grade year, they are taking a few classes here and a few classes there, but there's no real cohesion to it. There's, they don't understand how world religions relates to Java and to semantics and to environmental science. But not Joe 2012. Starting with the class of 2012, students will still take the same electives that they've always taken. But now they have a context. Let's say Joe is interested in exploring the career pathway of secondary education. So what Joe would do is he would still take those same classes and maybe because he was interested in secondary education he might think about public speaking and he might think about psychology but now he's got context. He's taking all of these classes so that he can explore this career pathway and now he's seeing what world religions has to do with environmental science and semantics and psychology and Java and public speaking. Joe's also got purpose. You see, we are going to, with the class of 2012, implement a graduation requirement that is the completion of a senior capstone project. So Joe will take all of the same classes, but now here's the difference. Joe 2012 will be using those classes to create a capstone project by the end. So he isn't taking those in isolation, but he's taking those for a purpose, and at the end that purpose will be create a project that points towards the real world. That type of relevancy and application is what will engage Joe 2012 in his studies. So three things Joe's got. Skills, and that's going to change for every single Weymouth High School student immediately next year. Context and purpose, and that'll be ins instituted with the class of 2012 and the in introduction of the career academies. So how do we get there? Well, there's three ways. We need to build a foundation in core 21st century skills. We need to make sure that our students can explore career pathways and make those relevant to them. And we need to make sure that there's an application of those skills in career pathways. This is the, uh, the kind of the graphic that uh, will show you what Weymouth High School will, will look like with WHS 21. All students entering will go into the 9th and 10th uh, grade core academies. Students that are interested in the CTE program will begin that in their freshman and sophomore years. At the end of the sophomore year, students will elect to then take, after they have a strong foundation in core 21st century skills, they will elect to explore, and that's a very key point here, um, the, the, the different career academies that we offer. This is an entrepreneurship academy, fine arts academy, Global Languages Academy, the Humanities Academy, and the Math and Science Academy. And then at the end, they will produce a senior capstone project that will allow them to apply what they have learned. So some different ideas of what a career pathway within the uh, Fine Arts Academy is music performance and industry. They might take these different sets of electives, everything from the art of writing to AP stats and modern drama, and et cetera, to explore the pathway that is music performance and industry. Or maybe uh, one of the math and sciences academy, maybe the medical academy. And they would take psychology as a science, calculus, anatomy and physiology, theories of violence, AP bio and chemistry, to allow them to explore that career pathway within the career academy of math and science. 